Hi, I'm Josh with Tactical Tech, and what you're looking at is the CE Tech 5515 Telecommunications Center from Home Depot installed in a post-construction installation. Now, the first thing you probably notice is uh, this big piece is missing right here. Reason is I started cutting, uh, you know, at the bottom end of where I wanted to place it, and this horizontal stud ended up being in my way so I had to push it up but that actually worked out in my favor and might actually be a recommended installation practice because it gave me enough room to work with this electrical here uh, and get it all installed without having to you know try to somehow wedge it in uh, I, you notice I do have my switch offline and uh, currently if you're trying to access my website you're probably not going to be able to at the moment but I wanted to show you that uh, this electrical box did not come with it. I'm sorry, I don't got the part number for it. Uh, the holes, uh, I had to run back to Home Depot to buy it, uh, but the holes on it do not line up perfectly with the holes that are pre-placed in this cabinet. So I had to do a little bit of custom drilling, maybe a couple millimeters off to the right here and there to make this work. Uh, so you notice that I'm using like two different screws here. I'm using the nut and bolt here mainly because the holes would no longer grab the screws that came with it and uh, didn't want it to slip out after I get the get this piece of drywall back up. Now the screws that did come with it are just way too long. Uh, you'll notice here I actually had to cut that one down size a little bit because if they were too long I wouldn't be able to get this face plate on flush so another problem i had with this is you know being a post construction installation i had to run this romex behind the cabinet itself uh, and you'll notice there is just enough space to do that maybe it, that's by design but it worked out uh, of course i had to have this uh, flush with the drywall so going through the actual interior of this cabinet uh, I went ahead and purchased this off of uh, eBay. Uh, it's a Legrand uh, phone uh, distribution panel. And uh, we got the push pins over here that came with it. Uh, the problem is this uh, device was not made for this kind of cabinet. And I found that out after I got it you know, shipped to me. Because this side actually has sort of like little hooks, sort of look like that. Uh, in order to make this work, uh, it wasn't originally fitting. Uh, in order to make this work, I had to take a Dremel tool and shave off the edges. So I had just a little bit of hook so I could put it in that hole and make it work. Another thing did not come with this cabinet were the push lock pins themselves. So I went ahead and had to order this off eBay as well because it did not, it was not sold over in the Home Depot. Uh, had to order this online because uh, it was just cheaper than the homeless desk bowl. And the uh, thing I don't like about this cabinet are the push pins. They're just way too loose. Uh, even on some of the stuff that was actually meant to have push pins, it's just way too loose. And I had to fabricate this. This was a $16 switch that came uh, from Home, Home Depot as well. Had to fabricate a little thing to make it work there uh, out of wood because they don't really sell anything that would make it work. Uh, this is what it looks like with the actual faceplate on, and uh, you'll notice now that I got my internet back up that uh, I have the power plug and it's just barely fitting in there. I'm gonna have to squeeze it and hopefully not fray that cord over time. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the drywall on and close it up. So in order to put the drywall in, I cut out a little around these studs and I'll just uh, mount it directly and plaster it over. Enough said, I don't have any talking. So I got the drywall patched in and uh, never said I was the smartest dude, but apparently these screws are actually for the panel that goes on top. It came with eight originally. I think I cut down four, probably lost one. So I got another four or another three left. So I'm going to be short one screw on this uh, four hole panel. But I got the telephones patched in, drywall done, uh, everything mapped out on the house. And uh, I'll go ahead and finish it up. And I had to improvise on the last missing screw. 
it's sort of out of place. Maybe I'll paint that later. That's what it looks like when it's done. And I don't know if it was bent in the factory or bent by me after you know trying to install it. But uh, just corners a little bit bent there. But that's fine. I think it will do.